to my channel. This is the reading for Capricorn. Hello Capricorn, today I am doing a general reading. Um, this reading is not specific to love or romance or you know, work in finance, although it can relate to that. The intention of the reading is for it to be general, so it's gonna fit where it fits. Today I'm doing a Celtic cross um, spread. I've already meditated and shuffled and pulled the cards. As you can see, um, I've done this to save time. And so we can get started. But before we get started, I just wanna say that this is a fairly new YouTube channel for me. And um, thank you so much for those who have already subscribed, if you have it, and you like um, what you see in the readings and you wanna subscribe, please feel free to do so. And so uh, regardless, I appreciate you all and thank you for stopping by and taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. So let's get started, Capricorn. All right, so the uh, in your position, you have this card represents you. Um, you have the four swords. So whatever your situation is, you need a break. You need a vacation if this is work. You need a vacation if this is a relationship. You need a break. It's a stressful situation you find yourself right now in a stressful situation and you need to take a break if you have not already done so. In the challenge position, the card that was here, that's your challenge position, it's the emperor. So if you're in a relationship, this might have something to do with your you know, husband or wife, whoever has that emperor energy, the caretaker. If it's a relationship, this person could be very, you know, a, a good provider, um, a husband, um, but could be on the strict side. If it's a job, it could be, you know, a good job, but a job that's kind of strict that requires you to be at your best um, every day. You could have a strict boss or something like that. So a good provider, a good job, but it's stressful because it requires a lot and, and the expectation is a lot. So you, you're kind of, you need a rest from that. Um, what's going on in the, in the past that's kind of like influencing this situation is the hermit. So, um, sh shut down. So lack of communication. So this could be that if this is a situation with, you know, your partner or, you know, um, a marriage or a husband or something like that, or a wife, it could be that there was a lack of communication, shut down, someone shut down. There's no um, communication going on. Someone withdrew and it's taking the time to think about things. I mean, if it's a job, it could be where, the, you know, it's just a lot of stress going on right now. And there's no communication. It could be that, you know, um, someone could be, have lost a job. It's shut down. It's, it's, it's you know, moving away from something, um, lack of communication. So that could be what has caused this. Somewhere along the line, there's been, you know, a lack of communication, uh, someone retreated, um, this particular person here. In the near future, what's expected is you're gonna, you, you want this to work. So you have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is going to continue to try to pursue whatever the situation is. And eventually the Knight of Cups will give up if if the feeling is not reciprocated. So if this is a uh, relationship situation, you're gonna try, you're not just you know wanting to leave, you're gonna try to make it work. You hope that it works. But if it doesn't, if things don't change, you will not hesitate to leave. And the same thing with a job, you know, whatever it is, whatever the situation is, you, you're not quick to leave it. You want it to work, but if it doesn't, you will remove yourself from the situation. Um, what are you doing, you know, um, to further this situation or remove yourself from the situation? You have the nine of wands. So you are defensive. You are on the defense. And if this is, you know, you're waiting for change. Um, but if it doesn't happen, you know, you're not going to stick around. Again, you have this nine of cups, which means that you're willing to continue to try to make it work. You're gonna to continue to be on a defensive. You're gonna to continue to wait for things to change, but you won't wait that long. Okay, so that's what you're doing right now. You're kind of just waiting around and hoping that things change. Um, you know, if it's a situation where, you know, it's volatile, you know, you have your defenses up. Subconsciously, you want that change. You have the world. So in reality, you kind of want things to change, even though you have 
the Knight of Cups, which means you're still pursuing the situation. Um, deep down inside, you wouldn't mind if um, things did change. So if this is if this is a relationship, deep down inside, you don't mind if it ends. If it's a job, deep down inside, you don't mind if they go belly up. <laughs> you want it to end. Um, that's just you know again on the subconscious level. That's not what you're. What's how it appears for you on the outside, but in the inside, you want to change. For your advice, in the advice position, you have the temperance card, which means that you need to find balance. So, you know, if this is a situation where you're arguing, um, if it has something to do with a relationship, just kind of take a step back. Don't get involved in arguing, bickering, or if it's a job, whatever's going on, just, you know, take yourself out of it um, and be patient. Just kind of step back and see how things turn out. Um, what's affecting external, um, this card represents external um, influences to the situation. You have the Six of Cups. So the Six of Cups could mean going back to um, something that you used to do. So if it's a job, if it's a job, having that same job, um, not not losing the job, not, you know, if it's a job that that might go belly up, um, it's outside of your, doing that same job, the same thing that you used to do is not up to you, if I'm saying that correctly. <clears throat> if it's a relationship, you know, having that, having an ex come back to you or having that romantic, um, uh, innocent, a flame sparked again that's out of your control at this point you have no control of that situation um, your hopes kind of match what's, what's going on with you subconsciously your hopes is the six of swords so you know what again really you don't really care if this situation ends this hidden this hidden world the change a completion that's, that's what you really want to happen. And so that kind of matches, you know, the hopes and the hopes position of the situation is the Six of Swords that you can move past it. Your fears, Five of Swords, the continued bickering, arguing, fighting, uh, conflict, if it's a job, conflict, if, if it's a relationship, your fear is that it's gonna continue and you don't want that to happen. Your hope is that it ends. The possible outcome, the most likely outcome position is the full, which means new beginnings. You're going to take a risk. It's risky, but it is new beginnings. And so I think although, you know, you're going to continue to try to make it work, at the end of the day, you're going to go for something new, whether it's a new relationship, a new job, you're going to go edit on your own, you don't care. Um, you're gonna not have fear anymore, fear of the unknown, fear of something new. You're just, fear of being alone. You're just gonna go ahead and go for it. That's the uh, most likely outcome. So that is your reading for the day, Capricorn. I hope you got something out of it. And again, thank you all for taking the time to watch my channel and I hope you have a nice day.